June 10th, 2014, George Puchiba's daughter got a call from her mother around dusk. My father had gone out to feed the horses that he did not have and did not return within an hour. They checked the neighbor's house where he sometimes visited. Not there. They called police. And it didn't take long for my parents' North Bethlehem Township home where I grew up to be surrounded with um, police officers, state and local, um, firemen, um, TV reporters, cameras, sent dogs. The news she did not want to hear came almost a month later. George Pachiba's body was found. Where they go hand to hand um, and they walk through all the fields, all the properties within one mile radius. Like they had checked his property and the next door neighbor's surrounding property, but had they have covered an entire mile, they would have found him. Robert Kester from Virginia is an international expert on search and rescue. He recently spoke with a local group of first responders and caregivers about how to search specifically for missing folks living with dementia. And I noticed a, a gap that the description of how to look for dementia, folks with dementia, was actually just elderly. And some people have dementia, some people don't, and that didn't make sense to me. What I'm going to be having you do is a, a linear task. As you know, when folks with dementia often wander away from a facility, they can follow a feature such as this road right here. He says sometimes a two-person search works great. Ready left, left ready. You, you echo. Left ready, forwards. Other times, you need a line of searchers entering thick brush. It's about trying to understand the mind of the loved one you're looking for. UPMC gerontologist Betty Robeson says often they don't perceive themselves as lost. Typically they're going out in search of something, uh, looking for something familiar, something from their past. A lot of times they're connected with their past because those, those memories are more secure than recent ones. So they're out looking and they become lost. When they wander, patients with dementia typically stick to open areas, but they don't always stay in open areas. They start off this way, but then they often leave the trail, travel only a short distance, but they'll travel that short distance into some of the thickest, nastiest brush, briars, brambles. So search teams have to know, check the thick stuff. Patients suffering from dementia often hide when they hear searchers screaming their name. Kester says, get air scent dogs on scene fast. These dogs pick out human scent, careful not to come too close to the missing person, then lead handlers right to them. Hi. Hopefully, you know, what they learned today can help restore families to their loved one who is lost with dementia. And if you are a caregiver or someone who lives at a home who may wander at, at home who may wander, the Allegheny County District Attorney urges you to call the office and enroll in something called Project Lifesaver. So it's free and it includes a bracelet radio transmitter that cannot be removed. If your loved one does go missing, search teams then use signal receiving equipment to track and locate them. For